Hey, I'm Roland with MobileGeeks.de and .com and we're right here still at Computex. It's the last day for us, it's Friday. And what we have here is a new Fujitsu UH-90L, which has just been announced by the Japanese company and it's a 14-inch Ultrabook that runs on Intel Haswell when it's going to, going to be available. And the special thing about this device is actually it's using a super high resolution 226 ppi sharp exo display panel the resolution is at 3200 by 1800 pixels which is not that common yet nobody's ever done this before on an ultrabook and let's hope fujitsu puts this out early and it's going to be available worldwide soon the name is specifically for um, japan so uh90l is probably only going to be the name in the uh, in japan in the other countries fujitsu always uses other names. It's based on Haswell as I said, it's a dual core CPU. I can't tell you right now what CPU is in there because the screen is locked. And just for a size comparison, this thing is just goes to show how, how high the resolution is. Down here we have, a, I think that's a 1366 resolution screen on this HP device and there you can see how big the lock screen this little menu there is compared to the super high resolution screen on the Fujitsu. Let's take a quick look around. They have a special coating on the screen that makes it easier for you to swipe on with your screen, uh, with your fingers. Here we have Windows 8 running on it. I can only get to the start screen. The desktop is locked, so I can't really show you how big the taskbar would be or how big the uh, desktop elements would be on this screen. Um, let's take a look up here. We have a webcam up here. I don't know the resolution. We'll put it in, a, in the description for you. Um, the device is made of aluminum, I think. It looks really nice. It's only 15.5 millimeters high. The weight is around 1.3 kilograms. And on the left, we have the power plug and a can sink lock, the vents for the fan, the USB 3.0 port right there, plus the combined headset and mic jack. On the front, there's pretty much nothing except for this row of tiny LEDs for the hard drive, the battery. There's a, obviously there's supposed to be an add-on battery right here, so they might be even able to show uh, to switch the battery on it. Um, on the right down here, we see one of the two speakers. These tiny holes right here are for the speakers. On the right, we have a full-size SD card slot, and right next to that is a USB 3 port and uh, an HDMI out in full size. Plus, there's a Ethernet port of a not that common shape, and that's pretty much it. That's all there is. Um, let's take a look at the lid. Fujitsu showed off this in press shots in the red version, so the lid in this case is uh, black. I don't know the materials, but I think it's maybe it might be magnesium, could be just aluminum. But that is actually a really sexy Ultrabook right here. Um, let's take a look at the trackpad. It's really decently sized and they have plenty of room left. So there's enough, enough room between the, tel uh, the, the trackpad and the, the, the keyboard so you don't always, when you're typing, you're, you're not activating the trackpad. I hope so at least. We have a fingerprint reader in here which is pretty common for Japanese devices. The, the keyboard is, there's good spacing between the keys, but the key travel is not really high. But it's pretty soft to type on and it doesn't flex or anything. There's a huge enter key right here. Um, the shift keys are decently sized. The space bar is so small because it's a Japanese device. They have a couple of special keys on there to be able to type in different ways. Um, up here we have an eco mode button and the power button right next to it. And there are another couple of LEDs for caps lock and that kind of stuff. So this has been the Fujitsu Ultrabook UH90L that has just been announced using a sharp Exo display running at 3200 by 1800 pixels on Intel Haswell. I was Roland with Mobile Geeks. See you later.